Hello guys and welcome to a cool keeper tutorial video. In today's video we'll be looking at drills and how to set them up properly. So here to my right hand side we've got a drill and this is a fully optimized drill drilling for some copper. I'll show you how to build this now and some pitfalls to avoid and how the this thing actually works in general. So what we will need to begin with is you need this crafting station. So once you've actually gotten your scarlet bars, you'll get into making this crafting station, which will give you all the tools that you need to create most of the drill, but it's also split that you need this electro electronic table that gives you the buildings like the electricity generator and electrical wires and lamps. So let's quickly go back to building this thing from scratch. Okay, so how do we build this thing? So we've got a fully optimized one, but you can stagger this one as needed. So number one is you can put down your drill. And when you put it down, you'll see that it might go, it, it shows upwards. So don't worry, you can turn them by just holding an E and then swapping them around. Now it's best to do this with them not powered up and the simple reason is, let's just give power to this guy, they will, as you turn them around, they will actually hurt you. You can see that one hit me there. Um, and they will also break the stuff that they pointed to. So rather first start off with your drill bits, it also makes the whole process a lot easier. So. At the start you might only have one but i'm using a fully optimized one where i've got eight now they will have an output and for that you need conveyor belts now conveyor belts as you place them down you can see this one is pointing towards the right hand side if i hold e it will then change direction so this will go down left up right now we want this to go downwards so as we place these guys down we will get to this point then we will put down another few behind these because the ores get spit out behind these drill bits and i'll place this one all the way up we'll fix these up now you want to go up 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 and up and then We'll turn this one to the right and we'll build it all the way to here. I'll show you now. This one also needs to change. So just to show you something, we'll take these ores. I'm going to drop an ore in this spot here by right clicking. And if you look now, that one will not go that way because it, the, it literally goes down. So for this to work, the end of it needs, it needs to point into the next direction. If I now take that same bars and I need to just stand a bit closer. If I throw those down, you'll see that they go down and then they go on to the next round and they will go all the way around and we'll pick them up in this spot again. Now, what you do at the end is also very important. As you see, the guys end up there. What you now need is you need a crane. So you put your crane down and you turn your crane to point in that direction. And behind the crane, you put a furnace. So because we're smelting copper and copper needs a normal furnace. So there we go. We put down a normal one. If you're doing something like iron or your scarlet bars, you need the more advanced one. Now comes the powering. So what we'll do is we'll put down a generator right here. And you can see immediately the crane took off and it picked those up. Now there is two options that you can use. So I'll show you both. What we'll need is we'll take some electric wire. So what you can do is in these blank spots, put an electric wire. And once you do that, you can see it powers everything. So you can put the wire in there and that, that is a fully working, proper working form. No issues whatsoever it will produce. What I like to do in mine is, let's just break these guys out. I like to replace those with the lights. Now, if you look at the little side of the light, you'll see that it actually has 
an output so it can go in all directions and give you the proper signal that you need to continue with your lighting so let's put another one here and you'll see the lights also add just that extra bit of light that you don't need to torch spam uh, too many torches do seem to cause lag so rather use as little of these as you need turn don't break that and there we go so now we've got a fully working system something else to note and this i expected this you can see that this ore fell out and it didn't go into the smelter so let's just replicate that again i'll take this and i'll drop it to the front so it's going to pick it up and you see it drops and it tries to put it in but it fails if that happens look inside your furnace you've got something that's blocking it you're not supposed to be smelting these bars you're actually supposed to be smelting the ores and there you can see the ore went through now here at the back we've got it broken as well so there we go now this is a fully working max node this node will eventually run out so then you can just pick everything up and move it along something else that you can also do is if i've got another node here i can run that off one generator but some, if you listen closely to the sound, you'll notice that these guys are running in, a, they're out of sync. So if that bothers you, what you can do is just, let's take away this generator. I'm going to put in a switch over here, and I'm going to put in the generator at that. So the farm is completely dead. If I now switch on, there we go. And you can hear it's all in sync. And what I can do now is I can pull a wire from this one and add another light source in here or make a mechanical door if I wanted to. So I can add another mechanical door and seal this whole place off. And once I can put in another switch and this whole setup is then connected via electricity. So that is the basics of a drill. So... The basics is just having your generator, putting down these guys, having a little conveyor belt at the back and then pushing it in. Something very important to note is that leave this part right in front empty. You can put it in and it will work when you're looking at it um, like there. But if you go away and it unloads for some weird reason, it's sometimes ends up leaving all the ores at the bottom of the crane and the crane can't pick it up anymore so then you have to pick it up and you manually have to put the ores into the smelter to get whatever you've got guys if you enjoyed that please hit the like please hit the subscribe see you next time bye